Hi, this is Ferris J, helping pets and their people to heal. And today I'm answering a question that I get asked quite regularly. And that question is, do our pets grieve for the loss of our other pets when one of our pets dies? And the quick answer is absolutely. Our pets form relationships with each other. And yes, they can grieve that loss for themselves. And they also pick up on our sense of grief and loss too. They're very aware of what we are feeling and respond to that. Now, I wanna share two stories just to show different ways that pets can grieve in, in my opinion and experience. The first I'm gonna share is from my cat, Leo. When we first got him, we got him with his sister, Purr. And unfortunately, about seven months after we got them, Purr got run over. And after that, yes, Leo was affected. You could see it in his behavior. You could see it in his demeanor. And what he did afterwards, and I have a lovely picture of him right back from those days. How he was different was, yes, he was kind of a bit low for the first small while afterwards. He also did a behavioral change of, he will come and sit on me. He will come and sit on my chest or sit on my solar plexus. Whereas usually he would just sit on my knee or he would sit beside me or curl up by my feet. So it was a definite change in behavior. Now I did energy therapies at the time. So I, I kind of felt he was coming and saying, oh, I need a bit of extra love. So if I, I would use those techniques with him. But if, if you have a, an animal that is doing that, you can, gently soothe them, talk to them, just acknowledge that yes, they are grieving too. That acknowledgement makes a big difference. It creates a space for them to move through their grief process. These days I would recommend using a technique called emotional freedom techniques, which can help animals and us to move through emotions. So with him, it took him about six to eight weeks to process what had happened and kind of get back to his usual self. Now it can be more subtle and less obvious. One example was a couple of years ago, I worked with a horse that was a bit depressed, a bit off its food. And I do connect in energetically and I get intuitions and, and I got that he was grieving and somebody who worked at the stables had actually left a couple of months previously and he was feeling the loss of that. He had bonded with them, he had got on very well with them and he missed them once they had gone. And in that case, I did use the EFT tapping and it did help him process those emotions and move through. One more example that was the subtlest I have yet experienced was with my own cat baby and I talked a little bit last time about her skin issues and how when I, I dealt with my emotional response to that and I tuned in, I got a, a an intuition of using a flower essence called walnut that's about processing change. And when I then looked at that, I realized she had massive change in her life. My Leo died last December. Her buddy cat Elvie had died last August. And whilst she didn't show any obvious behavioral signs of being in grief or of being depressed, and she was actually, I know, very happy to still be the only cat, that still was processing her through her system and it actually came out in her skin. And that was kind of confirmed again when I did some zoopharmacognosy with her, which is where they self-select herbs that they need. I did it under the guidance of a trained practitioner and one of the essential oils she chose was neroli and that can be used for grief. So that showed me, wow, it can be really subtle sometimes. So with that in mind that the fact that yes, our animals do grieve and yes, they pick up on our grief, it's to be gentle. That's what I would recommend. You can, I would, recommend, well, I'd recommend doing the tapping, but I'd also recommend talk to them, soothe them, tell them it's okay. It's, it's acknowledging that makes such a huge difference. And you're grieving too. So you can sometimes talk to them. If, if you're remembering the pet that has gone and 
just speak soothingly or a tap of your talk saying yes I know we so miss them and we had such a good time together and it's going to be okay and let them move through that just as you move through that grief process yourself and just as it can be very painful for us it can be painful for our pets too and just like we can find ways to navigate it more gently we can also help do that as well so that's something i may talk more about i may actually create an online course to support people going through pet loss that will include that so please watch this space or sign up for my newsletter if you want to know more about that in the future and if you'd like my personal help please do get in touch i do pet loss support counseling for anybody going through that and anybody's other pets who are affected by that you don't have to go it alone so thank you very much for watching i've been ferris j bye for now